If someone has allergy sensitivity eczema, then we're looking at a Th2 dominance issue. So that's more helpful to look at it from an immune system perspective. Because when you're talking about food sensitivity and allergy and eczema, those are all immunological problems. It's different populations of white blood cells, different cytokines interacting with each other, all trying to do something. They're trying to kill bugs. That's the immune system's job. They're trying to clear up cellular debris. They're trying to make memory cells so the next time the same bug comes, they can deal with it. But sometimes it turns against itself. Sometimes it gets out of balance. That's really where where the battle is when it comes to allergy sensitivities and eczema. It's dealing with the immune system. Now the gut kind of interfaces with that immune system, right? That's the brain immune gut axis. Have you heard of that? For me, brain immune gut. The brain, the immune system, and the gut play together so they interface each other. So if you have leaky gut and you have dysbiosis, might that drive an immune system imbalance that can skew you to TH2? It absolutely can. So that's where you want to focus on rather than the GSMT.